How you doing? It's Tom Pinoy here with a new Pinoy news. Ah, God damn, man. Long day. Rough night. Real rough night. Way too much of the creature. Entirely too much of the creature last night. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, and it got dark. Like, the whole night just got shot to shit. Engine on fire. Japanese Zero. Spinning into the mountains on fucking Guam. That's what last night was. It was just rough. Ugh. This morning, woke up, head spinning, fucked up. Still beefing with Shorty Doo-Wop. <clears throat> Had my stepson's birthday today. Now, my stepson's a mama's boy. All right. And I'll be trying to explain to my girl that you should never feel bad about what happened to your kids in the past. You know what I'm saying? Like, you made the best decision possible at that fucking point, and you did what you could do. There's nothing more, there's nothing less to it. That's just the situation. You can't be mad at how they came up and be trying to make up for it later. I mean, because I'll be real, my stepson, you know, his dad killed himself on my birthday this year. Um, and he just turned seven. So, you can't be soft on him. Because he got a hard road ahead of him. And he's going to need that motherfucking character to get past all of them. You know what I'm saying? Being soft ain't going to build your character. Being soft, like you're putting that shit off, letting them motherfucking, you know, be weak. It's not helping his situation. It's not helping him become a better man. It's not helping him deal with his shit. Giving him the tools and giving him the opportunity to be the individual he's going to need to be to get past all this shit is a different situation. There's only two ways to deal with the nonsense, all right? You know, you go to Africa or you go to Jamaica, you go to fucking Brazil, you go fucking to places where there are war zones and people are dying. They still have slavery and shit's fucked up all day, every day, 24 hours a fucking day. You know what I'm saying? Every minute of every fucking hour is fucked up. It's a struggle to get the fuck by. You're hungry. Your fucking stomach's extended. Motherfuckers is getting fucking rocked. There's people getting their fucking hands chopped off with fucking machetes. Life is rough. Their parents was dead when they was pops. Some kids fucking killing themselves when they get older. Some kids out here developing heroin addictions. No. They're grinding. They're doing what they got to do to feed them. They're trying to build a family and build a better way. Hard times make great men. Soft, soft times make for fucking soft, soft men. That's some reality. You know what I mean? Which brings us to the point of today's video. <clears throat> self-reliance. Teaching somebody to be self-reliant is more important. And helping somebody be self-reliant is more important and more helpful than giving anybody anything else. Having the opportunity to be able to hold down yourself or hold down your family is an admirable trait. Admirable. There we go. I told you, man, fuck, I'm going over some motherfuckers still. You know what I mean? Still feel a little, uh, you know, got a little snoop full and shit. <laughs> it is what it is. Fucking all this is just, uh, right? But, you know, giving somebody the ability to do for themselves is the most important thing you could possibly do. You know, my grandfather had 14 kids. And all of his boys, he taught them a fucking trade. And each one of them, you know what I mean, he were taught different things. One was taught the roof, one was taught the drywall, one was taught the frame, one was taught to do concrete, one was taught to do air conditioning, one was taught to do fucking uh, mechanic work. Each of them have their own skill that, that they do. You know, and that's an admirable thing. Because, admirable thing. Why? Because they're self-reliant. They can always rely upon themselves to feed their family. And they'll never be not wanted. They're all always in demand. Self-reliance. The art of self-reliance is something that takes a long time to earn. And it takes a building skills and being that individual and building the confidence to be that person. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't come from, you know what I mean, easy shit. It doesn't come from fucking easy times. It comes from the rough. Self-reliance. Means having that will and that iron fucking character to know who you are and stand your fucking ground and hold your own. Knowing when to bow, when to motherfucking break, knowing when to run, knowing when to stand, knowing when to fight, knowing when to chase. It's all part of being self-reliant. 
what it is, what it is. Self-reliant. Rely upon yourself. Lesson number 10 in how to be a man. This is Tom Pino with Pino News. Like, share, and subscribe, man. I'll drop some more content a little later. Peace. One.